Howdy, y'all. Good morning, everyone. Guess where we're camping? If you watch our old videos, you should know this is Rancho Topanga in Terlingua, Texas. And this is one of our favorite campgrounds in the area. If you watched the last couple of vlogs, we kind of floated around to different hip camps and backcountry camping and things like that. And we were like, you know what? Let's just come back here. And we did, and we still love it. It's one of our favorite campgrounds here. And one thing that's really neat that we noticed that the other campgrounds didn't have is this vegetation. Look at how much vegetation there is. And Guy did not plant any of this. If you're wondering who Guy is, he's the owner. Him and his wife, Pat, are the owners of this beautiful piece of property, and they do all this work themselves. They're hardworking people. We talked to him for a while yesterday, yesterday. catching up. He's such a cool cat. We love those guys. But he started construction right here on a new little project that they're going to be having a little convenience store with camping supplies and snacks and then right over there they got a little cabin that they built that's going to be uh rented out he said for people that are glamping and then he looked at our new rig and said wow y'all really started glamping too haven't you <laughs> Now today we planned on going mountain biking and it's a trail that we've done before. It's not too far from this campground. It is not in Lajitas, but it is owned by the people that own property in Lajitas. It is near the airport. I think it's called Airport Loop. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say we have not been mountain biking in how long? I can't oh, even remember. Man. We didn't even mountain bike in Arkansas because it was rainy. Yeah, it rained the whole time and all the trails were soft and wet every time we could ride. Yeah. Uh, and that's why we're waiting now because we had several days of rain, FYI. Yeah. Two straight days of rain. It was soaking in the ground. It's still kind of damp, but it's dried up enough where we can actually ride. But it's been since. I can't remember. Maybe I don't, I might not know how to ride a bike anymore. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> we're done with our morning duties and we are about to head to the mountain bike trail. The only thing we have to do is raise these jacks up. And then we'll be good to go. We'll see you guys at the mountain bike trail. Well, that was an extremely short drive. It, we're already here. And if you're flying into Lajitas or flying out, this is the airport right here. The drive to get to the airport, Lajitas airport. And you should take that road all the way back there. So while Cody puts our bikes together, we're gonna go over here and take a look at the map. And we are the only people on this trail right now, by the way. But yeah, this is the view we'll get. It's a really fun, flowy trail. Okay, we're here. I think we're gonna do loop three. And it's actually kind of chilly right now in the shade, but once you're in the sun, it feels really good. I think it's only like 50 degrees outside right now, but in the sun, it feels about 60. So that's pretty good. Well, that took a little bit longer ex than expected, but that is the first time that Cody has actually pulled the bikes out and put them together to ride since we've been full time. And Kelly's chain was twisted but mine didn't take as long. So I think I got it down to an art. It isn't as quick as just riding up to say like these people do with their bikes on the back. However, this keeps our bikes protected out of weather and it also keeps it out of people's sight because we have heard traveling the country, people always like to cut cables on bikes on the back of vehicles and go off with them. Well, not only that, like I just said, this is the first time that we've actually used them. So if we had them on the back or the front of the truck, it's kind of pointless because it's the first time we've used them. And we kind of, the reason we, we went with this setup anyway was because last year we calculated how many times we pulled the bikes out. And I think it was maybe three times last year. So we're just kind averaging out on that aspect but let's hit the trails
that trail is so much fun. So we did all of loop three. Now you can cut off and do three A, and we didn't do that, we just kept going on loop three. We did it two times, and it's 5.5 miles just the one time. Are you so, serious, we did 10 miles? Yeah. Up top? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, I'm proud of myself. You proud of yourself? Yeah. We figured out when was the last time we rode? Was in uh, Winter Park, Colorado. So last summer in Winter Park, Winter Park, Colorado. Wow. I think we killed it. That was fun. We did. We haven't really had the opportunity because of weather too, man. Yeah, it's either been too rainy wherever we were or, or we're, busy, with this we're busy doing other things. You know, we're trying to get on the road. <sighs> that was fun. That man it's so worth it still having the mountain bikes. It really hey, is. It's so much fun. Well, that worked out perfectly because Kelly was able to do yoga as I put the bikes up. Yeah, everything that I did while he was putting the bikes up, I would have already done when we got back to camp anyway. So it worked out just fine. She might have even showered if we didn't have showers that were awesome at this campground. Yeah, I like to take full advantage of the showers at Rancho Topanga because they are, they're good. I'll have to take a peek in there and show you before I shower what they look like. And we're back at camp. Looks like we have a new neighbor up there. But before I take a shower, I'm gonna mosey on over here and give you a glimpse of what the bathhouse looks like. So there's three showers, I believe. There's also three dishwashing sinks. So if you're tent camping, that is extremely nice. So Y'all know. Since we were last here, it looks like they have repainted and added the railing, because that's new. Now, I also want to stay on the water quality here because we're in the desert, so it's really hard to find good water that's not hard. He's got some really good water here. All right, we got to let our eyes adjust. Pretty much got this. You're hot and cold, and there's a little bench here. Put your stuff and hooks to hang. I mean, I think it's pretty great. I'm going to come back in this one, so I'm going to leave the light on. And I'm not gonna cook tonight. There's a little Mexican cantina we wanna take you guys to. It was the first place that we ate at when we popped into town because it was kinda late and we were hungry. And we were like, wow, we have never eaten here before. It's been here for years. So we're gonna shower and we're gonna hop on over there. It is in Terlingua Ghost Town. Okay, y'all, this place is called Taquieta El Milagro. She and really tried that five I did. times before she even recorded. I did. I'm trying to do my Spanish correctly. Anyways, this place smells so good outside, and you just walk in, you take a table, they'll bring you a menu. Super cute. Good morning. I feel like a truck has hit me. 
I am so sore in places I haven't been sore in a very long time. Uh, how do you feel? He's so dramatic. <laughs> My fifth bones are the only thing that's sore and that's just because we haven't rode in a long time. My hip flexors are killing me like all right here. Uh, I'm tired. We left the restaurant last night not telling y'all how amazing that place was. It's pretty darn amazing. Everything's made fresh from scratch every day. And I even had cow tongue on a street taco. I don't remember the Spanish name for that, but I do like that stuff. I think it's lingua. Lingua? And my enchiladas, what kind of sauce was on that stuff? It was a tapatio cream cheese sauce, I think. Made from scratch. I don't even know what you had. Tomatillo. Tomatillo. Tomatillo is our hot sauce. Mine was chopped beef with tomato and onion and then rice and beans. And the rice and beans is really good. But the beef was very good. Had a lot of flavor. Had tortillas that came with it. And like different sauces. Purple onion. It was really good. But we're running out of food this morning. So we're just doing some waffles. Nothing fancy. And I don't think we can physically do anything. We were going to go on another mountain bike ride. Yeah. It ain't going to happen. Because there's this crystal trail that we did. Now we did this trail... Oh gosh, five years ago maybe, or four years ago. And you're riding through like all these big crystals. Apparently they formed from when there was volcanic activity and it exploded and crystals just went everywhere. It didn't look like a quartz crystal. It has more of a foggy crystal, but it's really pretty. And we're gonna do that, but he's exhausted. My sit bones are hurting. So we're gonna take a break today. And I think we're just gonna enjoy camp because it's such a beautiful campground. It, it really, really is. is. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but we're at camp spot number four. They're all cute camp spots. But the first time that we ever camped here, we camped at number five, which is right behind us. And it is the only one I think that has a pavilion. But in most of the camp spots here, you get a tent pad. So this was the very first spot that we had. And then when we came back another time, we had spot number three. So we've always kind of been in this general area which has you close to the bathhouse. And number three, there's somebody there. They're not there right now. So I'm not gonna go all the way over there, but it's where this orange tent is, is number three, which is also right next to number four. So that's kind of a good spot if you have two people coming and you need two tent pads, you can kind of have this whole corner here to yourself. Now there's a really cool camp spot right up there and i always like to walk up there i walked up there last time i gotta be careful though because i have sandals on and i don't want to flip a octillo branch into my foot this is the octillo so hopefully i'm saying it right and supposedly in the spring it has these beautiful flowers which unfortunately we have not seen that's what i'm talking about right there yeah this spot never had this spot but it's so cool i always like to walk up here that's a big spot right over there too might be a group spot i don't think it'd be too level for us maybe it would park here and then you walk over here and there's always a water spigot somewhere look at this cool spot then you put your tent here And look at that view. So this is a really cool spot. What number is this, by the way? So if you call in reserve, you can ask for this spot. It's got to be two. I'm thinking it's two. You can see the mountains way out there. That's the National Park. So we said we were chilling, right? Taking it easy today. And I'm laying back in this chair, just enjoying myself. 
And we got ourselves a tarantula. So we saw one the other day, but we weren't filming. Look at this guy. How you feel about that, babe? I mean, it wasn't by me. I was in my lounger. I just had to get our yoga mats out of the way because I don't want it hiding in there. So this is the Texas brown tarantula. That's what it is. We have had these in Arkansas. Matter of fact, these exact pants I have on right now, one crawled up inside my pants. I thought it was a mass of uh, leaves and I squeezed on it and it bit through my pants and, and bit me. So that was in a vlog. I'll put the link below if y'all want to see that crazy day. Kelly heard me scream. Yeah, it was weird. But this is why when you go tent camping, I always see a lot of people leave their tent doors just open and they're like gone, not even there. And that's why you don't do that because you could come back and this little guy could be hiding in your bedding. Now, since I've been bit by one, I've completely lost my fear of them and they're non-venomous to, oh God, he's moving fast now. They're non, so I am a little frightened of it, but they're non-venomous to humans and their little hairs on the back of their body. Yeah, the little hairs on the back of their body, they will shoot out at you as a defense mechanism. But when they bite you, it's about the same as a bee sting. And when it bit me, it felt like a bee sting. It didn't hurt and it was non-venomous to me. Now you'll probably never see a female. Females will make a den and stay in there and the males like that one go around trying to find a female den and try to mate with a female. Now in Arkansas, from what I've learned, that time of the year is, uh, what was it? Set, late fall. September to November? Fall. Yeah, fall. So it might be the same time here. But I had a feeling, Kelly, that I was gonna see a tarantula today. Really? I don't know why I had a feeling. Wow. I have a feeling I'm gonna get tan. Make sure there ain't one crawl up the chair. Now they do like dark holes and I can guarantee you, just like you said, those rolled up yoga mats out here. Uh -huh. I bet he was going right towards that. Also out here in the desert, one thing that I don't know how it would feel if it stung you is a scorpion. So there are a lot of scorpions out here. Scorpions actually are found in Arkansas and the Ozarks as well, Washita's, Oklahoma. But I feel like they might be more common here. That's another reason you might want to keep your tent zipped up. But back to relaxing and enjoying a day of nothing. It has been a relaxing day of nothing. We haven't done that in a while. Yeah, it's been nice just to hang out, enjoy this area and chill. But now it's dinner time. Tonight we're gonna make a steak and I hardly ever prepare steak, but we decided we wanted to do some steak. So we're gonna have steak. We're doing sweet potato. I'm gonna make mashed sweet potato and some asparagus. You wanna know what's crazy? The last time we were here, we cooked steak. Mm. We did blackened steak with blackened seasoning. I'm not gonna do blackened this time. I'm just gonna do butter, garlic, and rosemary. So first, we need to boil these potatoes. And we have never had the opportunity to spend a whole day at this campground. We usually are going off doing a hike or an adventure. Yeah, and it has been nice. And I might just go ahead and say, this is the first time we've had this awning out. Oh yeah, let me uh, take a step back for you. Pretty nice, huh? We brought it out earlier when the sun was up and now that it's uh, at an angle, it's not really helping, but it still was nice earlier. Just hadn't put it back up. Whoa, that might be too much. And we're on a lean. Oh, we are? Yep. It's only whenever it's not on a lean anymore. You know this rock? That's a good looking rock. Is that better? Let me try, hold on. That's better. Okay, I need something on this back corner. And that looks like a good candidate. There we go. All right, so we're gonna sear the steaks. I've got the two fillets. Cody has the ribeye or sirloin. What'd you get? Uh, I got a ribeye. Okay, I'll do mine first. Sweet 
potatoes are done, I'm gonna add some stuff to them. Oh, my timer's on my steak. Now, honey, will this end up having marshmallows on it? No. Sorry, Nick. Her dad, Nick, really likes marshmallows on his sweet potatoes. He won't eat it without sweet it. Potato. Is it baked sweet potatoes? Yeah, this is a mashed sweet potato. Okay. And we're gonna throw in some brown sugar. We got some cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla. It's pretty good. My finger tastes like garlic, so I can't really tell. I gotta admit, this is the first time I think I've ever seen you try anything. If it's sweet, I don't mind trying it, but if it's not, I don't know. So if you're making a cake, you're all down for trying it. Oh yeah. But if you're making like uh, rice with coconut milk, you don't want to try it. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, that I will. Oh. That's sweet. So we got some garlic, some butter, some rosemary. And right now I'm just checking the temperature. I have some asparagus going over here. All right, everything's done. Last but not least, the mashed sweet potatoes. This is a meal fit for a king, honey. I hope it's good. Oh, I know it's good. We have this little morsel left over from last night. We got it to go. It's a tres leche. And it is good. And Kelly, she killed it with the steaks. I like me a good steak. However, we're gonna close it here and we'll catch you on the other. See you on the next one.
Pero se perdió el interés 